Hello, this is Donna Reiners, here to encourage you not to let your future be the same as your past. I've had something tooling around in my heart for um, some time now, and it's been the phrase, the um, feeling, the choice, the emotion, the decision, the place between going back and moving on. The place between, the stop between, the junction of going back or moving on, giving up or going forward. And you know, it's been strong. It's been a strong thought. It's been such a strong thought that I've really been asking God, who's it for? Who's it for? Who's it for? Because this is for someone either very specific or this is something that's moving around folks and they need to recognize what it is so that they make the righteous choice, the right choice, which is to move on. Because listen, giving up is going to only produce death. The giving up I'm talking about and the turning back I'm talking about isn't just a simple thing as, oh, I don't want to do this. It's literally a, I'm not doing this and I'm checking out forever kind of feeling. And that's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm talking to. Whoever you are that is standing in the pathway, standing in the gateway of giving up or turning back into a place of death and destruction for you or choosing to move on and to move forward and to not give up and to not turn back and to not give in to those thoughts and those ideas and those voices that want to cause you to stop and turn yourself into the place of death and check out forever. Listen, I'm asking you today to make a choice. I'm asking you today to choose to move forward. I'm asking you to, to make the conscious decision with me, to say with me, I choose, I choose, I choose to move forward. I choose, I choose, I choose to move forward. I'm asking you to say with me, I choose, I choose, I choose to move forward. I'm asking you to say with me, I give up. I give up giving up. I give up giving up. I give up giving up. And listen, I know this isn't for everybody. I get that. First few seconds, you're like, I'm out of here. This isn't for me. But listen, if you know someone who's dealing with the doorway between living and dying, between choosing to live or choosing to die, I'm asking you to encourage them. I'm asking you not to say, well, if they're going to do it, they're just going to do it. Or, you know, they talk about it, but if they were really going to do it, they would do it. That is beeswax. That is a ridiculous thought process, and that will produce death in those people. Do not assume that the person that you think, well, they just need to do this. Don't assume that that kind of theology or that kind of psychology is going to work on them because it doesn't always. I know someone, <laughs> someone very close to me whose friend said goodbye forever. And that person cannot even get through it, cannot even get over the fact that they missed the opportunity to speak life into the one person that they thought would never do anything like that. Listen, this is not a day to give up. And you know what? While I'm talking about this, it is a rainy, dreary, hazy day where it just feels like a good day to stay in bed. It feels like a good day to stay in bed, but it's not a good day to stay in bed permanently. Listen, if you want to give up and if you want to turn back and if you want to give in, I'm asking you to choose today not to make that decision. I'm asking you if you are filled with pain, if you're physically filled with pain or you're mentally filled with anguish or you have been under torment and so much siege that you think you're losing your mind. I'm asking you not to give up. 
and not to give in to the anguish, not to give in to the mental harassment and the mental torment that wants you to give up on you so much that you check off the planet because you have value and you have worth and you are significant and you're important and all this swirling around you is a bunch of C-R-A-P that wants to kill you. And I'm telling you, if you don't believe in you, please, please, please lean into my belief for you. I know what it's like to not to like me, not to love me, and not want to live. And I'm telling you, if you will pass through the doorway of giving up and move into the doorway of moving on and make a solid decision, make a solid decision. Don't stand in the doorway of transition. Well, I don't know. I think nobody would really miss me. You know, nobody's ever really liked me or cared about me. Listen, those thoughts and those ideas, again, beeswax beeswax. I can use stronger language if you like, but it's beeswax. I tell you what, it's, it's that one place within me that gets me going more than I think anything. The giving up, the checking out forever. Because if you feel like that, it's because you hate yourself. It's because you hate you. And listen, you don't have to hate you. You can be healed of the places within you that have convinced you that you need to hate you. You can be healed. I know because I was. I know because I was the one who hated me. I was the one who thought, you know what? Nobody cares anyway. Nobody's given a flip since before I was born. So why would they care now? I know. I know what it's like to be in such mental anguish that I figure none of this matters and nobody would miss me. And oh, and when Facebook came around to be like, well, you know what? They'll just go, oh, that's too bad. They'll come to my funeral and that'll be the end of that. Listen, that is bees wax. You have value, you have worth, you're important. So listen to me. If you are the person who wants to give in to the voices and thoughts and ideas that want you to give up permanently, if that's you, and what you've been doing has not been working, I'm asking you to try something different. I'm asking you to move into a place where you move into something different. Try something different. Do not give up on you. Just because it's not been doesn't mean it won't be. Just because it hasn't been doesn't mean it won't be. Just because you feel today like you don't have purpose doesn't mean tomorrow you won't wake up with purpose. Just because you have felt like you have no worth doesn't mean that you don't have worth. Those are lies. Those are action plans that have been set against you probably since in the womb. But you can be healed of those areas of deep, deep, deep decision making in the area of giving up. And you really can move forward. And I tell you, it was so strong in my heart the last few days, just so strong in my heart, I could barely get get away from it. I knew I had to say this to whomever this is for. Do not give up. Do not give in to those thoughts and the, those ideas and those voices. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Because you have value and you have worth. Now listen, one more thing. <laughs> oh, listen, if you're my friend on Facebook, private message me you know do not if you know this is for you if you know it is and you know what you know when it's for you then private message me give me a day or so to get in there with you but don't you give up on you don't you turn back on you because you're worth it you have value you have worth you're important you're significant and these feelings and these emotions are liars. They are not the truth. And you can have truth for you. For you. So look at me in the eyes and listen to me. Say this with me. I'm important. Say it with me right now. I'm important. I have value. I'm significant. I have a reason to live. I choose life. Say it with me. I choose life. I choose life. I choose life. I choose it. I choose it. I choose it. I choose it. I choose life. I will live. If you said that with me, 
that intention is real and it is a decision to live no matter what you're facing God loves you even if you're mad at him think he's a jerk think he forgot about you and if you think the whole world's turned against you you can still be there for you regardless don't let anybody else's opinion decide your life for you you live anyway this is Donna Reiners do not let your future be like your past if your past is filled with thoughts and ideas and emotions of giving up and checking out then I'm telling you don't let your future be filled with giving up and checking out because you have a future to live until soon. This is Donna Reiners. Bye-bye.